I'm uh, Joe Van Quaytham, and our farm name is Van Quaytham Farms. We're located in Eden, Ontario, our main farm. We farm approximately 9,000 ish acres, depending on the year, and uh, mostly corn and soybeans. Currently we have an ST8 on our one planter and we have the ST10 which is in the back here on our other planter. They're both uh, exact emerge John Deere 16 rows. And in the future we're probably looking at getting a 24 row exact emerge. Uh, also that in, with a ST10 on the back of that as well. So a lot of the things, um, and I think a lot more people are finding it as well, the benefits of um, banding dry fertilizer on their planters, especially around areas like this where there's a lot of sand, fertilizer leaching problems if you were at, if you were putting liquid down. People have been doing it for a while, but it's been with bucket planters and like, you know, fill ups every eight to 20 acres, depending on your system. Um, that is really not efficient when you come to big acreage and everything else. So we knew we had to do something if we wanted to keep our fertility plan like like it should be so we had we did do a year where we tried liquid starter on our planter and it was a disaster so we're like we got to make a big change here so that's when we started going to carts we were shopping around shopping around and then we got our first st8 and kind of went from there uh, we've had the st10 for five years the Salford um, because their roller metering system, I find you can get all sorts of different densities and everything else of fertilizer and essentially it just kind of stays the same. You can just put in your weight as long as it's calibrated and you just go all year and not have to worry about fluctuating rates. Sometimes you get a dusty batch of fertilizer, you close the doors, take the rollers out, inspect them, doesn't matter if it's full, empty, whatever super reliable. One less headache I have to deal with. There's enough things going on in a planter and people calling me for other jobs in the spring. Like you just don't, if I'm running a planter, it's just gotta work every time and I don't, I have other things to worry about. So if your fertilizer's flowing right and rates are always on and it's just one thing you can just erase out of your mind when you're trying to plant a crop and deal with employees and everything, just like 100%, not a question.